Switch the mic on. Got to switch the mic on. What's up, guys? How are you? It's time. It's time. So, you, if you uh, haven't paid attention to the title of the Dungeon Boss stream tonight, it is I Will Leave But Cinders. I will leave but cinders. Oh, baby. I will leave but cinders. I will leave but cinders. I'll do it one more time for you, in case you didn't. I will leave but I will cinders. leave but cinders. Now, uh, if anybody can guess what that's from, um, surprise for you at the end. I, I don't know. Uh, big kudos. But you gotta guess what it's from. I will leave but cinders. I'm drinking tea tonight. And the reason why I'm drinking tea is because I think I got tuberculosis. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't have tuberculosis. But I got this persistent cough that just will not go away. And it's aggravating the heck out of me. But I wasn't going to let you guys down. Oh, Dungeon Boss just got better. What did they do? You want to know something? They probably fixed a bug. Like, uh, do you remember the one bug that um, I think allowed Theron Fiddlesticks to uh, pretty much one-shot every room? Um, he did that for like a, I don't know, it was like three hours. And so uh, I pretty much ran through campaign mode with the uh, areas that I hadn't finished before with Theron and just had him one shot every single room, regardless of what uh, of what color, whether it was some nature heroes or fire heroes or, or water heroes or whatever. He would just one shot them all. It was fantastic. It helped me get through a lot of those really hard campaign mode uh, dungeons back when I was uh, level 55 or 60. So it was fantastic. Thank you, Dungeon Boss, for that wonderful awesomeness trip down uh, memory lane. Boy, that was awesome. Um, but apparently I missed today's little glitch that would have been awesome. Speaking of glitch that was awesome, it, if anybody's listening that had this glitch happen to them over Christmas, I'd love to hear about it. So whenever Grognog was, um, when you can get Grognog, I summoned him and I ran him through an epic permafrost dungeon um, Boss Island Dungeon, and I was able to get his epic. It was a nice little, pretty little gray helmet. It was fantastic. Um, it said that I got his epic, but then whenever I went to go look at his epic, it was not there. So, uh, if anybody has it, let me know. Or if anybody has any idea of what's going on with it. Hey, I've got some mail. You've got mail. Four of my friends used me. Thank you, four friends. You are awesome. I will accept those scrolls like the, with the best of them. Questies. Let's see what kind of questies we have. So, I promised you guys today... By the way, um, let me know if audio is... Is jacked up. Um... I promised you guys today I would uh, run you through some of the um, uh, very hard dungeons. I can't remember exactly what the name of it was. Um, I guess we're going to find out here in a little bit. Um, did I beat him enough times to get him? <laughs> well, I got some fire dungeons. Oh yeah, I did! I can unlock a dungeon! Let's go ahead and unlock that bad boy. Yes, I got two hours to beat you. Well, bam. Let's go. Let's do some dwarf scattering. Rune Fortress. There it is. So, um, I asked you for some uh, very hard dungeons. Uh, teams for the very hard dungeons. And um, I got a couple of suggestions. So um, I figured I would try one, maybe even two of those suggestions if I can uh, run through uh, and get Goldie, Goldilocks, Goldie Beardy one more time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. I've already beaten it several times with the Undead team. 
Um, and then I used another team that I uh, probably won't get into today. Um, it was the uh, Furnish, uh, Yorick, Ponty, and um, Daggerant team. Um, but I tried that. It worked beautifully first time. No big issue. Undead worked beautifully first time. Um, today, I'm going to run either one of two teams. Either Ignis, Ponty, Augustus, and Astrid. Because uh, that was one of the suggestions that, uh, that I got. Um, another suggestion was Ember, Indigo, um, Echo, and Cobalt. So... Um, I might try that one too if I get enough time, uh, but right now I think I'm going to try the Ignis, Ponty, uh, Augustus, and Astrid uh, team. But if you got other teams, let me know and I'll be glad to try them. Um, and again, I, I know that right now I'm kind of in an in-game position, so I'm level 70. Um, and I got a, a pretty pretty good hero list. Um, but if, if you're interested, um, my nephew plays. And so I've been logging on to his account quite frequently to try to um, build up his power uh, because he is uh, very, um, what's the word for it, enticed by the shiny XP that's staring in front of him. So his, um, um, his overall hero power for his level is just really low. I mean, he is just getting killed when it comes to uh, any kind of PvP tower he can't make it through. Um, so I've been logging on trying to do some right things for his account um, so that maybe I can uh, get his hero level up so he can have a little bit more fun playing it because I don't think he's having a whole lot of fun right now just getting his, his rear end kicked. But that's okay. Um, so, but the, the point of that was is if you want, I can log on to that account here and, and stream some on that account so to let some of the lower levels um, folks with lower level characters really see uh, see some different things and, and try some different things out and make suggestions and then I can help by making some suggestions and maybe we can work together. So um, again, name of the stream is I Will Leave Butt Cinders. I Will, I will but Leave Butt Cinders. So you got to tell me what that's from. I hope somebody out there knows. I know uh, Dressed. So Dressed, if you're listening, you cannot answer. Because I actually got it from the map. So, anyway, um, new quest today. They uh, they uh, um, release new quests. Um, obviously, Bramble and some of the Goblin stuffs in the uh, portal. Um, I don't know why they have a rune event, the Great Rune Dwarf War, and then they throw goblins in there because goblins are kind of anti dwarfs. But it's okay. Um, we're, we we get to get some goblin stuff. But um, the cool thing is is that we do have some PvP scrolls, so that's awesome. I know that they're going to try to come out with that new PvP scheme next week. Um, it would be awesome if, uh, when, when and if they do. Um, but it's, it's pretty cool that they're giving us 2x scrolls today. Um, actually, all weekend. It looks like it ends in three days, so that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, get some last-minute scrolls before, uh, before we really uh, uh, transition over. Um, anything else going on? No, just more quests. So The quests that they added today, um, they still left friends in need. I've still got a few more friends that I've got to use here. Um, oh, shit. Thank God the green screen is on. What a pile of trash. No, 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 no. It tastes like a chocolate nightmare. Oh, I never want chocolate to taste like that ever again. Chocolate spinach smoothie. Why oh, have mixed chocolate and spinach? Um, but yeah, they uh, threw in fire dungeons, and then uh, that's still remaining. Um, but then they added some PvP quests with goblins, and it looks like um, um, dwarfs. Um, salvaging runes. So they did have us run a whole bunch of uh, fire dungeons this past week. So I'm assuming that... Um, oh, there looks like another quest line too. Burn... Did I see? Yeah, burn fire enemy. So... Oh yeah, that's my 8 out of 13. So. Mm. Hi, h and H Show. With your chocolate nastiness. Alright, so let's play a little bit. Let's, uh, let's run some of these dungeons. So let's start off with a very hard dungeon. Because I kind of want to... 
kind of want to see what uh, see how this team works. I've I've never really played this team before. But yes, this was a suggestion. Um, somebody sent this in, and uh, and hopefully uh, hopefully I'll wipe the floor with them. It's Ponty and Ignis, um, so they have buffs to to help each other out anyway. I know Ignis is Ponty is like Bamf anyway, but uh, he adds a buff to to Ignis, a maniacal buff, I believe. Um, and then you got Augustus. Hopefully he'll do some healing. And then uh, Astrid, hopefully we can get her to, to join in the party with some damage. Oops! Oh, no, no! I don't want to do that. I want to change these to energy runes. Or energy potions. Um, I'm questioning whether or not I should bring one health potion or one rev potion, but I'm going to do it without the rev potion. We'll see what happens. If I die, I die. So again, you can tell that uh, the non-pretty half of uh, Two Dorks is streaming. Um, the pretty half is, is definitely not streaming, but she's drinking a wonderful chocolate milkshake. So everybody can say hi to Miss Ashy in the chat. Alright, who's the warlock here? That's right! Hold on, wait, 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 we'll pay him! We'll pay him! I will leave but cinders! I will leave but cinders! Uh, a friend of mine gave me that uh, sound clip. Actually, he uh, um, he streamed it for me so that I could uh, listen to it because I'd never heard it because I just started playing WoW a couple months ago, and I thought it was the most fantastic thing I've ever heard. So of course I had to make a clip of it, and um, there it is. There you have it. Let's. This is a pretty good team. Oh, here we go. Ouch. Dang. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea, guys. Oh. Please kill him. Thank you. Um. ay ay ay. And I don't think I have anything yet. So I definitely appreciate the, um. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm good. Oh, I can't heal him because of the, uh... Well, damn. Let's see if I... I won't. Nope, it didn't kill him. Damn. That nerve damage hurt. Hmm. I don't know. I got a trinket form that makes him, uh... Makes it give him 50 HP. Oh, nice. Nice. That's awesome. Okay, let's see here. So, again, if you subject to change, I just uh, I just really started this very hard dungeon. I took some uh, some um, suggestions for teams from folks that had sent them, and I'm trying very hard with various teams. Here's uh, obviously a Ponte Ignis, Augustus, and Astrid team. Uh, that first room was a pain in the ass. I'm going to try to heal Ignis in just a second. <coughs> Hopefully we can kill him. Oh, no, 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 not quite. All right, what's going to happen there? Ouch, that hurt. Ouch, that hurt too. Damn. This ain't no joke. Oh, I'm getting a Skype call. I'm getting a Skype call. Let's answer the Skype call. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I have a delicious chocolate shake that you were making fun of. Oh, that's definitely not delicious. Let's see if we can't turn this down. Who did Subject get a trinket for? The Warlock. What's O R H and W Q? Um, I guess it's overall health. Um, and when every he does time a... you bring, I don't know. 
Subject to change, you gotta help me out. I just started playing that uh, not too long ago. I've so. been playing forever and I have no idea what that means. Can everybody hear Ashley, by the way? I hope so. And if not, I can just add this, turn this up a little bit. Turn it up, me, me, me. Order oh. hall resources and world quests. See, that would be really nice because I've completely run out of resources. Oh, 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 because oh, uh, you can make him a follower. Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes. I understand now. Nice. Yeah, I've completely run out of all my resources in my training hall. I haven't checked on WoW since Brad left. It's not cool. Um, let's see if I can't kill another one of these, because I'm in desperate need of some help here. Do you I'm... not have any health pots? I can't use them because they're all... Uh... Um... Buzzsawed, so they've got nerve damage. Uh, ooh, you can. Uh, you, well, at least it'll take a hit. Oh no, I can't do it. I'm pretty sure I can. Damn, these guys got a <laughs> big fat monkey butt. Really sucks. Um, and they're all dazed. I'm in trouble, guys. Maybe not the best team suggestion in the world. I don't. Well, how did they do it? I don't know. Let's see if... I mean, she's dazed, so she's going to miss half of them. She missed all of them. That sucks. <laughs> and there you go. And I didn't bring a single res pot. Oh, he, did, he said lay on hands might cleanse. It will not. I just tried that a minute ago, and it did oh. not cleanse nerve damage. Apparently, nerve damage, you cannot cleanse. What? So. That sucks. Oh, you just died. I'm like watching this as there's a bit of lag. This is no bueno. It's Friday the 13th, man. It is Friday the 13th. What? Are, oh! oh, 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 oh. Next, I sent an email no, to Dungeon God. Boss. I'm waiting to hear back from them. So no, God, please no. It should no. be in the works. Oh, you got one. No. <laughs> yeah, undead. Yeah, so next, um, I did the exact same thing. I ran undead. I, I, I made it through with the undead, no problem. Um, I used uh, Furnace, Yorick, Ponty, and Daggerin team and made it through. Now what I'm doing is taking suggestions for new teams, and this is one of the suggestions that folks um, came up with. So, obviously that did not work. <laughs> you can try again. Somebody also said Ignis Ponty, or uh, Ember, Indigo, Echo, and Cobalt. That's like no heals, though. Uh, maybe Except everybody Ember, has I life guess still. Ember is, does, she, does, her, does she do a really good heal? I, I, I don't play a lot with Ember. I mean, she's a three-star wonder for me. Next was one of... Um, you want to know what that run was? Horseshit. It was horseshit. That's what it was. <laughs> Next was one of our winners on the charity stream, him and his wife both, so I, I guess they both just got their um, Celestials. Hold on, they got the Celestials, or did they win, like, the, the Grognoth? I don't know who won Grognoth. Does anybody who won, though? Nobody told me. I figured somebody would have told me, but nobody told me. I want to find out who won that. Do you want to try to run this team one more time? Guys, should I run this team one more time? Try it one more time, because sometimes you get, like, a crappy version of the dungeon. I will try it. I am epic enough. I am epic enough. Me. I'm epic. <laughs> yes. So it's Friday the 13th. What are you guys doing on awesome Friday? That's correct. We won Celestial. Sweet. Um, I wish we would have won some. <laughs> um, but, no, we got a whole bunch of resources to run all night long, because... We needed the resources. To oh, no, no. Oh, no. How about if I save some of my moves to start off? Or why don't I just use them? We should watch a scary movie tonight. Okay. What scary movie should we watch? I don't know. I just asked the chat. <laughs> I mean, it is Friday the 13th. What about Friday the 13th? No, we need to watch a scary movie we haven't seen before. Not don't breathe. 
don't breathe. Don't, don't watch is what it should be called. It's not don't breathe. It's don't freaking watch it. Especially with your 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 girlfriend other parents. parents. Yeah. Don't do it. Just don't. It's a very bad time if you do it. That was rough. War dog. That that's the comedy about the uh, the gun runners, right? I have no idea. Bam! Oh, Can I just tell you how delicious this movie is right now? It is not delicious. It's, it's so you, good. You took something that's awesome, which was chocolate, and you added awfulness to it to make it taste disgusting. It's bananas. You just don't like that much banana because you're weird. No, you put in green shit. Green it's shit and spinach. chocolate equals no bueno. You can't taste the spinach shake. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what that is? It's, 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 it's horse shit. It's that's what it is. Uh-huh. Like, you can't, oh, you can't God. taste spinach in a smoothie. Spinach tastes like a big fat nothing because it's mostly water. You know, you say that. <laughs> Why did I do that? I did not want to do that. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can at least get rid of one. I need to... Start. So, what does the vengeful uh, buff do? Does anybody know? Because I haven't really play, paid that much attention. It looks like it. I don't know if it gives them more health or increases their armor or what. By the way, I got ass raped. Hold on. Wait, other... wait, 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 wait. Did you get ass raped? My butt was butt cinders. Hold on. I will leave but cinders. I will leave but cinders. Okay, so why are you ass raped? Um, I went up against the team with the Gorgons. Like the, the three of them, the two sisters, oh, yeah, the yeah, general yeah. Prex. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I've, I never have had a problem with them before. They kill, like, uber kill. I, because I, I took my fire team. I'm like, this is going to be easy. Murdered me. Murder! It was awful. Um, now, some people play that team, and they play it really well. Oh, finally. Um, I just don't have any of them really, uh, really up. Okay, let's see. Is this, this is the second room, right? So let's go ahead and throw this bad boy on. Because I got the, uh, the, the mini boss room. A buffs attack and defense by 15%. Something to change. Uh, is that what um, what Vengeful does? I'm assuming that's that's what that was. Oh yes, yes. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. Damn, it's already that late. Where are you at? He's in the UK. Oh, ho, 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 ho. my Astrid just got ass raped. She got Astrid raped. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this without Astrid. What do you guys think? Oh, they made Krex give Freeze immune to all of his peoples. Freeze immune? What? Why would he get Freeze immune when he's a nature hero? I don't know. That doesn't make much sense. Well, bam! That should one shot. Oh, he's in Sweden! Oh, Sweden! See, I I've was... got... Go. No, I was thinking he was in the UK because Joey's in the UK. Joey caught to remember him. Yeah, I know Joey. Joey came by and uh, and hung out. Uh, was it yesterday or the day before? Yeah. Yeah. I like Joey. Joey's a stand-up guy. I like him. Uh oh. Did he just heal himself? Is that dick for? Sudden. So Sweden. I've got a little bit of Scandinavian blood in me. My whole family's from either Sweden or Norway. You guys so, look yeah. like Vikings. <laughs> yep. What is it? The Jacobsons on one side and the Eisenbergs on the other. So you can guess where they're from. Somewhere in Scandinavia. So apparently... Melissa from Big Fish Games loves hibiscus tea. Oh no! So I think I might have Amazon drop off Big Fish in care of Melissa some uh, tea. Some tea. 
Yeah, with like a package of limes. Well, I'm hoping that maybe they can uh, do something about my tuberculosis over here. Yeah, what? Jacob got sick like two weeks ago and he hasn't stopped coughing. He's like Doc Holiday over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your huckleberry. <laughs> I am going to get ass raped again. I don't know if this team was the right team, by the way. Well, I mean, you have to try it twice, right? Well, there goes Ponty. <laughs> there goes Ponty. Or, uh, not Ponty, but Ignis. Yeah, but I went to, uh, my nephew. My uh, brothers and, and his brood, he's got three kids uh, for the holidays, for Christmas. And, of course, the youngest is about a year and a couple of months. And he's just all snotty and, I mean, it's like green snot. It's gross. Like nasty. It's super right. gross. It is. It's super, super gross. Super so I'm like, oh, the kid's sick. And my brother's like, no, nah, he's not sick. He's just teething. And I'm like, what is that green shit coming out of his nose? He's not teething. That's freaking sick. So, of course, I leave. Go up to uh, Ashley's parents' place, and we, we hang out there for a few days, and I'm laying on the couch for a day, and I'm like, oh, this sucks. So we drive home the next day, and I finally, we, we get home. I spend the next two days on the couch, like legit on the couch. Me on the couch, is, it does not happen. Yeah, he doesn't sleep ever. It was awful. And then I just can't shake this stupid cough that I've got. I think everybody's been sick, but damn, it's been terrible. You say that with a... Um accent. Damn! <laughs> you add more syllables than that word needs. Well, of course. That's how it should be said. <laughs> um, guys, I'm really... Mm, you're, you're giving up on this team. I kind of am. Let's see if I can't just lay on hands to pond Let's see if that helps. Oh! No help? So since you're super depressed, have you seen all of the fun Zelda stuff that came out today? Yes, yep. Zelda. Holy crap monkey balls. Holy crap monkey balls, not just holy crap, but holy crap monkey balls. Actually, hold on, I have to read you a text one of my friends sent me because they re they showed you what the special edition order is going to look like. Uh, the, uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild's Master Edition. And it, his text was preceded with holy shit F monkey tits. Bullshit F monkey tits? Oh, holy shit. F monkey tit. He actually said the curse word, but I'm trying not to. Yeah, that one's like tier four curse word. I mean, you can't just walk around dropping F bombs. No. Oh man, what is going on? How you doing? <laughs> I feel bad for how this is going. Oh, so That's, oh, this is why we need help. <laughs> so, so uh, oh, uh, uh, next and then subject I already heard this, but I already beat it with the undead. I already beat it with the furnace, Yorick, Ponty, and Daggerin team. Um, I was taking uh, other teams that maybe people could try uh, in their quest to dominate the very hard dungeon. And this is a team that somebody sent me and said, you got to try this Ignis Ponte Augustus Astro team. And guess what? I've tried it twice. <laughs> and I mean, here, let me quick show you these guys. I mean, they're not awful characters. I mean, I don't have the worst runes on them. Um, the only five-star character that I think I have in this is Astrid, maybe? And then... Oh, uh, here's Augustus. <coughs> so I've got some decent runes on him. Nothing great, but just some improved stuff, some, some, uh, some heroic improved stuff, and there's a greater life. So he should have enough life to make it. Um... Here's my Ponty. He's pretty much a, a badass. I think I've got him some greater runes on. Not the best greater runes, but some, some halfway decent greater battle runes and some like. Some more greater battle runes. There's there's an improve, so I guess they could be runed up better. Uh, my Ignis, he's going to be about the same. 
Ignis is a badass. Him and Ponty, I love that duo. I do too. That's I love a... running dungeons with them because they, if there's five characters, they, I mean, he'll one shot yeah. two of them in a row. So, I mean, I don't have the worst runes on there, but. Oh, no, 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 no. By the way, it wasn't an insult, so don't worry about it. Um, but, uh, no, it, they're not the worst runes in the world, so they should, I think, they should be able to make it through that very hard. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should just go back to what I know, what, what I'm good at, which is undead all the way. What do you guys think? Just undead all the way? Yeah, try it, just to, just so people can see you do the fun thing. I think I did the undead on, on Wednesday night. I think I, uh, I showed everybody the undead. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> Try the Try ultimate go. shatter I can do that as well has anybody run goblins through there because you know this is a goblin dwarf event so who do that run the goblin I don't know I'm kind of worried about running the goblins through uh, it cannot be any worse than what you just did <laughs> just saying <laughs> what do you guys think should I run the goblins yes I think I should try the goblins. I think the goblins would be fun. I think you're right, Subject. I think there's too many fire ones, but... You know, maybe... Um, maybe I can bring Kozar in instead of... Uh, well, Zerk you gotta have for his crit. CKB you don't necessarily have to have. All he does is... His goblin dance party is awesome, but his double hits, okay. And gimme, 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 I never use, so... Um, maybe I can bring Kozar instead. Ig, Grog, Yasmin, Ice Bloomer, York. I agree, Oak. That's a fantastic team. I do have Igrok, but I don't have him full epic. Um, but I have it, I think, up to nine, level nine epic. Um, Dude, did you know that Bela got a Ponty buff? I did not. That's subject to change is like an encyclopedia of awesome, and he should be on every show. Yes, maybe <laughs> we should just have him call in as well. <laughs> like, screw me. Subject, I'm... what do you think? You think you can call in and help us out? No, 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 no. We'll get a three-way call going here. The more, the merrier. <laughs> when it got his uh, maniacal, that's what it was. Nice. That is pretty sweet. I do, I do not use Baylog ever. Like my Baylog is a flaming pile of horseshit. So, auto-running lava. If you can auto-run lava, you're doing something. Because I, I hate lava. That's the worst one. I don't mind. I don't like the... um. What is it? The, is it it's either the green one or the ice one. Permafrost or Savage, Garden, or Savage Grove. I don't know. I think both of those are probably the easiest two. That and Babel, those are the easiest three. I can do the the light one, the dark one, and then the Lava Academy, easy peasy. But what I, I think I tried to run for your freaking epic like 90 times, and I got so frustrated. Yeah, the, the drop rates are pretty freaking awful. As long as it's not best in the spot. Isn't it funny how everybody's like up their character so differently that something that's super easy to you is impossible for me? And or right, vice versa. You know, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, guys, should I run Kozar in here? Because he does have the goblin buff. And if I do run Kozar in here, who do I take out? What do you guys think? Because I kind of want to run this team because it is obviously a goblin dwarf day, right? It's, hey, we're running this huge, huge thing on goblins and dwarves. So let's, let's, let's freaking run the goblins, dude. So who do I take out if... If I bring Kozar. I love how you type it and say it at the same time. I think Reliable Taunt is better than Pummel. I like Kozar. He's so squishy and adorable. I like him better than Eggnog. Egg oh, Grognog. Yes. Eggnog. Yes, 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 yes. One of my girlfriends called today, and she's one of the people I've got. Pretty much everybody I know I have addicted to uh, Dungeon Boss. 
that has any time whatsoever and she's like i hate you so much and she was like do you want to know what i think that is inconceivable <laughs> i think it's inconceivable that that would happen you you remind me of that actor when you say that it's inconceivable see it's just you have that like that weird because you have such a deep voice but then you do that weird screech thing i really hate that like, no god i just i think no, we shouldn't have given you buddy please no <laughs> I've got my soundboard. Ooh, Demon Team. That would be fun. Yeah, Demon Team would be a lot of fun. Somebody actually sent a note saying, try the Beast Team. Um, beasts have no heals, though. So I, I, the only thing they've got is I'd probably bring Leo and put Taunt on there. And just try to have him taunt the whole time. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. Wait, wait, wait. You can't taunt dwarves. Yes, you can. They're immune to taunt. Really? Yeah. Isn't that it? Like, they never miss and they can't be taunted? I just thought they had never miss. I didn't think they had it. They couldn't be taunted. I feel like Subject would know this. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm just going to run this team in. I'm, 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 I'm pretty much convinced that uh, perfect swing, that's what, that's what it is. I'm convinced that I'm going to get my ass kicked on this one. So That sounds about par. Yeah, why not? I Maybe can. it's just the Cyclops then. Yeah. I knew you, I knew you couldn't taunt the Cyclops. I just, for some reason, maybe it was just the. I don't know. I'm gonna drink my hibiscus tea now. Holy shit, that's sour after bananas. Go, bananas. Go, go, bananas. Your mom. Oh, wow. If you get it on the right team, they will definitely. Oh, 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 one-shot one every red hero. hero. That, that was, was awesome. awesome. Holy oh, crap, crap monkey. Monks. Um, that was beautiful to watch what just happened. Oh, ball sack. That's, That's your answer to you how, how they're uh, going to beat the red team. <laughs> My goodness. Squinchy, are you watching this, guys? Holy crap. Squinch is pretty much one-shotting this entire freaking dungeon. Wow. Wow. I love your reaction. It's perfect. This is the one I'm worried about. Because... Oh, hey. Let's do revision. Crush. And it's pasted. I really want to know what scary movie to watch. Yeah, I know. I would put like a poll out, but then I would have to, uh... list movies, and I'm, I'm just drawing a blank. All right, here we go. Come on, Squinch. He got one. Oh, he didn't get both of them. What did you just do to Peter Griffin? Oh, I should have healed. Am I thinking? I'm an idiot. <laughs> nice. This goblin team has surprised the heck out of me. 
I thought for sure I was going to get my ass kicked every night. I was certain of it. Absolutely certain of it. The first Friday the 13th of every year is also National Blame Someone Else Day. In case you needed to know. I feel a lot better about myself. Who can we blame for you missing? Alright, whoever suggested the Goblin team? That was uh, Miss Ashley back there. You rock. Are you dancing? I was. <laughs> You're such a dork. That's awesome. Three starred with the goblins. Oak, I hope you sleep well. Thank you for hanging. Enjoy your uh, your bourbon time. I know Jacob enjoys his scotch time. Oh, I do. I love my scotch time. I definitely love my scotch time. Oak, appreciate you hanging out with us. Thanks for all the suggestions. By the way, you did not offend me in the slightest earlier. Um, again, I'm just, I'm running some dungeons, just having a good time, trying to figure out some good teams. Uh, if this helps anybody out, great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Um, I will say this, I would never have tried the Goblin team had I not done this, this uh, stream tonight. And the Goblin team just wiped the floor with that dungeon. So um, that was a lot of fun. That rocked the house, so have a good night. It's no longer Friday the 13th where he's at. Oh. Uh, it is now Saturday the 14th. Well. Well, bam. Enjoy your grognog. And yes, I do need to get my, that, that epic all the way up. Three star, very hard. Well, pow. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I kind of want to try that now. I don't know. I do have them ruined for crypto. though. I just want to go people. down your, your thing and just claim all of your rewards. I, I can't. I'm saving those till Monday. It makes complete sense what you're doing. I'm just saying I'm a small child. <laughs> so. Guys, should we go find Goldilocks again? Mr. Goldie Beard? Oh, he's in Magma Fields this time. Fields. Firebringer! So, I have to tell you a story. Axel, what's up? Sweet. By the way, so real quickly, Axel, um, I meant to tell everybody this. I know I started it out, but uh, I figured I'd, I'd, I'd uh, say it one more time. My uh, nephew has an account, um, and that account is in desperate need of some help, and it's, I think, a level 30 account. Um, but he's just like Ashley, where he just clicks the shiny XP I hate you. quest, except... Quest X XP. Oh, great. Shiny XP. And um, his... Um, oh, bless you. Bless you twice. Excuse me. Um, but his hero power sucks really bad. A big so fatty. I thought about streaming some of his... Um, while I'm trying to clean up his account a little bit, trying to get it a little more powerful. So he actually enjoys PvP in the tower and other things. Because uh, right now I don't think he's enjoying that in the slightest. So um, I thought about streaming that. So if anybody's interested in me streaming that and just watching that, um, I thought about doing that. So um, that way it's not just an in-game stream because right now I, I'm focused primarily on in-game stuff. Um, so things like different teams for the tower, uh, things like different teams for different dungeons because right now pretty much run the same couple of teams over and over and over. Um, right now I'm running this team just because somebody told me that Dagger had a nice buff um, from Ponty. So I figured why the heck not? Let's go check it out. Goldilocks. Got one of the Goldilocks. Need to get four more so we can run that dungeon one more time. So we can try another team to get our ass kicked. <laughs> There's so much golden shower stuff on Twitter right now. Why is there golden shower stuff? Uh, the whole, there's this whole Trump scandal about him. Oh, yeah, <laughs> about him claiming that uh, he is sterile and therefore he hired women to pee all over him. Isn't that the one? I don't know that if it was 
tea is sterile. It was just he had Russian women over and they peed on him. Well, that was his claim. Was that tea was sterile? And that was nice. I mean, it is sterile, but it's still. Just it's your gross. kind of sterile, not somebody else's gross. kind of sterile. Yeah. If I was like peeing if... on you, it's probably not sterile to you. <laughs> just saying. Donald Trump, he is really going to be our president. I. Um, Shit. What in the world? This is this is this is a bad joke. I feel like on Sunday we're gonna wake up and it's just gonna all be a dream and everybody's gonna go. <sighs> and then you'll hear this in the background. And everybody wakes up. So one of my friends um, wrote to the House and the Senate in West Virginia because I'm originally from West Virginia and she's a recipient of reciprocant. That's a word, by the way. Reciprocant? Reciprocant of um, Medicaid. And she was writing to say, look, these are my circumstances. This has helped me immeasurably. You know, I've literally benefited from this. Please don't cancel this. And every one of them wrote her back like this unchecked tirade about how Obamacare, they never said the ACA, they all called it Obamacare, and I'm like, well, that's professional. Um, is a pile of shit, and it's not helping anybody, and she's like, I literally just wrote you, and she's like, A, I wasn't really writing about the ACA, I was writing about um, Medicaid. And how Medicaid benefited her And how family. it's literally right. helped me over the last year because of my circumstances. Um, but I, it was, it was shocking to see those responses and they were all from like an email she she took the time to write them a letter they all emailed her and um it was all just like something they scrawled off during a lunch break and i'm like this is the state of politics in west virginia right now and it made me really sad well it's the state of politics everywhere <coughs> and i don't want to get too political here but i will say this um Either way, I don't care how you voted. If you voted for Trump, if you're excited for him, if you voted for Clinton, if you're excited, if, you, if you're if you depressed about her not winning, if you voted for Gary Johnson and pray that the country would be taken back, um, I, I, don't, I don't care really how you voted or, or what, what it is, but I think where I'm coming from is there had to have been somebody better. Uh, and just some of the stuff that he's saying, it's, it scares the living shit out of, out of me. Um, and... I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I've given him the benefit of the doubt on all of his selections uh, with respect to uh, to his cabinet. Um, I think he's got some good picks. He does not have other good picks, but I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Let's hope and pray that maybe, dear God, maybe something, he'll pull a miracle out of his app and have this nice, beautiful little rabbit sitting there for us. Um, so we're all going to hope, and we're all going to pray, so we're going to wish in one hand, shit in the other, and see which one fills first. <laughs> You're such a dummy. No. Um, but I, I, the, other, the other comment I want to make towards your Affordable Care Act is, I know it, it, it helps some people, and it hurts some people, and some people's you know premiums have skyrocketed, and some people now have insurance because they've never had insurance. Um, some 20-year-olds are paying exorbitant amounts for nothing, oh, yeah. and some 60 year olds are really benefiting tone, right like that's the whole point of that it's it's not perfect but they did something so fix the broken because it's it's broken it's yes. incre- it's not a but it was something it got the ball rolling but instead of going okay we can build on this momentum it's this is a pile of shit we're gonna go back to the other pile of shit that we had before this yeah, yeah. And, and instead of walking out of both piles of shit <laughs> <laughs> We're done with the boots. We don't need any more boots, guys. Stop <laughs> wading through shit. <laughs> anyway, now I, enough of the politics. But now I, 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 I should, we, should, we shouldn't bring up golden showers and Trump's inauguration next week. Yeah, I mean, Fire just said he's been uninsured. So there was a. Uh, I, so with the ACA, the way it worked, I ended up going because you know the healthcare.gov. It's it's easier to get your insurance through there. So I got my insurance through there. And it was stupid expensive, and it was catastrophic care. Like, so if I exploded, they would help me, but nothing else. Like, no prescriptions or yada, yada, yada. So, something, oh, our credit card got hacked, and so it stopped doing the automatic payment. 
And so around September, they're like, you owe us $500. I'm like, Five billion dollars. Yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm. No, no. And so September. This is what you owe them. Yeah. You owe them coin. Yes. <laughs> I'm just like, screw it. I'm not like, and so I was just sitting there crossing my fingers that, cause we traveled a lot during the holidays and I'm like, please God, let nothing happen because, because I'm just like, it's, I don't feel like paying out the rest of the year when the good insurance is going to kick in and it's actually worth paying for. Right. So I don't, but I mean, fire, I mean, there's lots of people that are like, it's cheaper to pay the, but anyway. Fire, so... I really hope nothing happens to you either because you're kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah, you are kind of awesome. I, I've enjoyed hanging out with you over the last few months. Um, it's been very cool. He's the one that drew the um, the crying bear for, you know how Adam was the crying bear on our on things on Sunday? Are you serious? Yeah, he, he's the one. Didn't you win? Um, didn't Askren send you some dice for that? Because it was so fantastic. That's awesome. Funny. That is a pretty fun show to watch, though. I, I like watching Askren scream. Uh, scream. Stream. He was streaming art the other day. He, he's super talented. Uh, he's actually um, on Horses and Hand Grenades next Thursday. We're going to be interviewing him. Oh, rock on. Yeah, and then, you know, obviously we do the, the D&D on Sundays at 8. And Jacob goes and drinks. <laughs> He's like, y'all have fun. It's scotch time. <laughs> I mean, a glass of scotch. D&D. Actually, what I really do is get a glass of scotch, log on to WoW, and this is what I leave. I will leave but cinders. I will leave but cinders. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Dress and I usually get on uh, WoW on Sunday nights. And uh, what is your account? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be awesome. Um, what is what is my WoW? Not WoW, your Dungeon Ball. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. McFly Flyers. So I'm probably going to readjust my friends a little bit this weekend. Um, I've got a couple on there that never used me and a couple that, uh, that uh, I want to just switch out a little bit. So I'll probably redo my friend list on, on Sunday or Monday. Fire. He's like, so scotch smells like Christmas to me because mm. I used to go to Christmas parties and they all like, they were there were a bunch of doctors there and they all drank scotch so i love the smell of it but it tastes like like i went and unscrewed my gas tank and stuck my tongue in it this is what you do no god <laughs> no god please no 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 yeah that's what she does when she's around scotch <laughs> It, uh, it's interesting. Okay, well, I am going to let you do your thing because I've hogged your show for the last 40 minutes. No, you're good. So here's another thing. What should we eat for dinner? Any suggestions? Oh, he wants your. I was thinking you wanted Dungeon Boss. He wants your battle. Mix. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. I'll uh, I'll whisper you. Uh, I, I, I mostly remember whenever I get done with the stream. Mexican, more like Mexican. Tater say that once. So subject, there is this little Mexican place, like uh, literally a mile, if that, from where we live, and it's just so good and tasty and salty and cheesy and beany and delicious and thinking about it makes my mouth water but they mess with me 
when I go in there because it's like, oh, haha, it's a little girl. Like, I, I pride myself on understanding people with thick accents and they screw with me so hard. Like, I never have a clue what they're saying. And I'm like, at this point, if we just spoke Spanish, it would be way easier on me. <laughs> like, I would understand that. They and screw so, with her so hard. I hate you so much. But, like, I told Jacob, I said, I, like, unless you walk in there and pick up the order, then I will never eat there again. Unless we just go order in person. Because, like, if you're with a dude, it's fine. But they're like, oh, ha ha. The, little the girl. lovely lady. Little girl. Let's just tell you, like, it's just, it's awful. It was so embarrassing. I was, and I know they were just having a go at me, but I'm just like, oh, I don't understand anything. I don't know. Mexican does sound... Although, I will say this. The other night, Wednesday night, Ashley made some Mexican quesadillas, some chicken, chicken quesadillas, quesadillas that were melt-in-your-mouth good, drop-kick-you-in-the-chest fantastic. I mean, I took a bite and was like, floored. Pow! What? It was awesome. That's all I'm saying. It was It was pretty damn good. So, I'm, I'm struggling going back to Mexican after such a great experience on Wednesday night. I would like if he called and ordered it right now. I was like, honey, I'll be back in five minutes. I'd be like, yeah, but I'm not going in there because I'm just like, please don't pick on me. I don't know what your cheesy sayings are. Literally cheesy because they gave me extra cheese last time. And then tried to charge you two hundred nine dollars, right? Yeah. Ooh, two hundred nine dollars. Okay. And didn't you just say, yeah, sure, I'll pay it? Yeah, because I didn't hear what they said. And then they just kind of looked at me and were snickering. They're like, are you sure? Did you hear what we said? I'm like, no, I didn't hear what you said. I have no idea what you're saying. You're like, it's like when you go to like a southern state and they're like, oh, it's a northerner. And so they like crank up the accent. Like somebody from Alabama and was like, da, 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 da. that's what they do to me. So we could get Tater in here for his red, oh. his redneck accent. <laughs> Where has Tater been, by the way? Tater has not been around. He's been deer hunting down in uh, at his cousin's place down in Georgia. <laughs> Hogzilla. Yeah, he's going after Hogzilla. He's in the date south. <laughs> but I reckon he'll be back next week. I hear that he's pretty angry about a few things, and he wants to have a little bit of this. A little bit of rant. You know what really grinds my gears? You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Subject from Georgia. I didn't say all people in Georgia. No, I think that's perfect. Wait, <laughs> subject, do you call everybody honey? Or darling? Darling. First time I ever went to Georgia, we stayed at like this little plantation um, bed and breakfast. And I walked out and I swear to God, there was a dude. Like, he was maybe 10 years older than I was at the time. So he was in his, I don't know, early 30s. And he had like a seersucker suit on, but had the jacket folded and on the bench with it. Hold on, like, wait, wait, wait. Like seersucker is in full uh, brother, old brother wear out. Yes. Yes. Suit? Oh, that's fantastic. And a, and a button beautiful. down. Like a little hat. The like a little summer. Yes. straw hat. He had he had the hat on the seat beside him. He had the um, jacket folded and then put over the bench. He was reading a newspaper. He had his shirt sleeves rolled up and his like white button down on. And he like flexed his newspaper and looked up over it at at me, and then like looked back down at his newspaper and went, "Howdy, darling." And I'm like, "Oh my god, this is so cool! Like, are you real?" <laughs> well, howdy there, darling. It's so funny. We're in the deep south now, darling. Darling. So, I feel like if you're from Georgia and you're from Atlanta, that's like like little metric like you don't fall in the same category as people from yeah, yeah. are you in atlanta because if you're in atlanta you're that's a different world we're, we're not yeah that's that's not what we're talking about we're talking about like stone mountain georgia we're talking about way out in the deep south that's what we're talking about how do people in atlanta figure out where they're going because everything's peach tree yeah, yeah. Peach tree, street peach tree avenue peach tree the Lane, mall it's like everything. It's a big, it's a big, I'm just like, wow, this is, I mean, did, there was like a giant world tree, like freaking dollar on, and they just planted a peach tree, like, settlement on it. <laughs> and then. I will leave my cinders. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> Fires in the north, he has to deal with 
So those aren't wannabe Southerners fire. Those are redneck slash hillbillies. Oh, oh yeah, there are rednecks <laughs> everywhere, brother. They are not Southerners. We're talking rednecks. That's what you're dealing with. You're not dealing with Southerners. See, what's really happening is the Southerners who used to live like in North Carolina, all the Northerners are coming down and infiltrating North Carolina and pretty much turning it into the, the I guess, north of the south. Um, and then all the Southerners are just slowly pushing down a little bit further. So, you know, yeah, folks like Subject are getting, uh, or uh, Fire are getting, um, um, or no, <laughs> Subject. Is it Subject that's in Atlanta? No, fi- uh, Subject's in Atlanta and Fire's in the north. Okay. They so all of the Georgia. old North Carolinians are just driving down to Georgia. So, hey, I was born and raised here in North Carolina, so, nah. So West Virginia is the South, but it's, it's uh, okay. no, no. It's <laughs> south of the Mason Dixon Kiss Map, but it's not like. <laughs> oh, you're such Say a. Saying Virginia is South. You're Virginia south is like nah. douche, douche. Okay. Fire. I used to go up to Pittsburgh all the time because I went to school at uh, WVU, and it's like 15 minutes away. And I hated Pittsburgh. It was a pile of shit. But they had Permani Brothers, and they put French fries on their sandwiches, so that was worth driving 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I've heard that's that's freaking awesome. Oh my god, it's so good. French fries on everything. French fries on your salad. French fries on your sandwich. Dishonor on your cow. Dishonor on your family. <laughs> He's like, I'm basically in Canada. <laughs> You're like way north. You're like, hey, it snows eight months out of the year here. And you've got Amish people surrounding you. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, one of our guildies in, uh, is from Canada, and he is from oh, Dallas. How they brought us Celine Dion and Justin Bieber. Oh my god, no. no. Every Canadian I know is, is. Well, I take that back. Most Canadians I know are freaking nice. <laughs> Chris, if you're listening, you're a douche and I love you. <laughs> is Chris not nice? No, oh, Chris is a douche. Aero says, I live in the Pittsburgh area. It remains a pile of French ride covered shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Ooh, what is happening, Aero? We, uh, we are trying to get one more run of Very Hard In. So I'm going around trying to find Beardy Locks. Uh, Goldie Locks. Beardy oh. McBeardson. Whatever his name is. <laughs> so that maybe I can get him five times so I can re I want unlock I french Beardy fries Hard. now. Well, oh, like the I good want thing the- is, is that we do live in the city. We ain't live in the country no more. So we can go get some french fries anytime we want. Yeah, but that means I'd have to like put clothes on and leave. Um, are you naked? I'm not on camera. How have I only found him one time? I've ran that dungeon at least 42 freaking times. What in the hell is going on? Did anybody just see that? I ran it like legit 12 times. Uh, Maybe it's not in the stuff in the things. Oh, so subject or fire. You guys can help me with this. Um, Who's the, the last one that gets buffed by Ponty? <laughs> I've got Ignis, I've got uh, Dagger, and I've got Ponty, obviously. And who's the fourth that gets buffed by him? Does anybody know? Ignis, is there four buffs or three? I don't know. I'm assuming so, because why would they have uh, Legendary without a team to put around him? Uh... Baylog. That's oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, because he gets the silence. Is it? Hold on, wait. Is it Daggerin that's... It's Baylog. That's who it is. I'm sorry. I've been running Daggerin the whole freaking time. Oh. I'm an idiot. Princess Zelda looks so cool. I hate cell shading, but I'm still so freaking excited for this game because I'm a fanboy. Yeah, Daggerin doesn't get... It's it's ba- Baylog. That's who it is. So is there a fourth person that gets a buff? Or is it just those three? Well, it would be him plus the three, right? No, 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 no. It's only two. It's only Baylog and uh, Ignis that get the buff, it sounds like. Huh. Huh. 
Have you seen Cabin in the Woods? Uh, I'm sure I have. I probably just don't remember. Here, I'll throw another caster in there just because why not? Have you seen the Babadook? Oh, he does buff casters. Yes. Cobalt, that's who it was. Cobalt. I will throw Cobalt in that, uh, that next time. What does he do? He's just buffed by uh, Ponte. Pa my Ponte's a badass. Like, I'll use my yellow team rating, and instead of Leo, I'll throw Ponte at the end, unless I think it's going to be like a rough down drag out and I'm going to need that res. And Ponte, most, like 80% of the time, will one shot the entire. I don't give a shit how well ruined up they are. Are you serious? Like, what my Ponte is a bad ass. You want to know what, what Ponte, your Ponte does? What? I will leave but cinders. Oh my god, if you press that but cinders. one more time, I want to <laughs> smack you upside the head. <laughs> smack you upside the head. Oh. Alexandros will eventually turn into a piece of shit for you, Fire. You'll never use him again. He's pretty good at running uh, some of the challenge mode dungeons. Um, so him and Daggerin, because Daggerin can heal some constructs. Um, but after after uh, challenge mode, I have not touched him. No, I, I don't Subject even have him like that? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, no. It's so See? bad. It's awesome. I will play it one more time. It's I so will bad. leave but cinders. I will leave but no. cinders. No, <laughs> you're awful. Hey, it's a new button. I had to, I had to, to, to give it a whirl. To like I'm not allowed to touch the buttons because they say I'll press them too many times. But then you've got Jacob. <laughs> well, I mean, it is but cinders. So, I will say this: that with the PVP update coming on Monday. The one thing I am praying for is a different sorting mechanism or a consistent sorting mechanism where characters are in a similar place each time um, or sorted in, in a similar fashion each time. Because right now it is so freaking hard to find them and they move around pretty consistently too. Oh, hey, Goldilocks. I see Goldilocks. Uh, I see Goldilocks. How many more times do you have to get him? A whole bunch. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Okay, well, if... 8.20, so I'm going to go do food. <laughs> so guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it another time. Because um, I don't want to eat it nice. Oh, only 2 of 5. No, I'm not going to be able to make it. It's going to take me another hour to do this. Especially at the rate you're picking him up. Yeah, he's just... Oh, oh. yes. Green Machine is awful. Um, I hate Green Machine. Green Machine's the biggest pile of shit on the freaking planet, and I want it to die in a flaming Pittsburgh Hades fire. Everybody hear that? <laughs> I, I don't have to say anything. My work here is done. <laughs> I had somebody else say it for me. <laughs> I hate it. Ugh. No, we have uh, we have quite a few discussions in, uh, in our guild about how awful Green Machine is. Um, and and so I've been thinking about this, and one of the reasons why I think Green Machine sucks so bad is this: every other character has a PB or every other other color has a PvP changing character. Purple, there's a couple of them. I mean, if you have Darts, you got Ponty, he's a game changer. You got Shade now, he's a fast game changer. Um, Zom and Brom anchor that undead. Um, with with um, Light, you have um, Zen, who now anchors that, and then a whole bunch of fast, awesome characters right behind him. Um, you have two silences. You have an indigo silence for the shatter team, which pretty much can can anchor that team. And then you've got a torchy silence with the red team. Red team's a little bit more difficult than the uh, than the shatter team at the moment because the shatter team is freaking awesome. But um, the red is is still significantly easier than the green. The green, who do they have? That's a game changer. I mean, Bovis? No, he's not really a game changer because somebody with some kind of fast character, whether it's Shade or Kai or any of those characters, will completely wipe out Bovis. He's not a game changer in PvP. 
Um, is it Willow because she's a fast character? No. Shit, no, it's not Willow. Willow <laughs> blows monkey chunks. That's what she does. She's awful. Uh, is it Sume? Yeah, he takes off AoEs, but he's not a, a character that you build a team around. Not he's, after they nerfed him. Yeah, and then you can run the goblins. Yes, you can run the goblins, but you got to get to the goblins. Everybody that's out there in PvP runs Masuda, Shade, or Kai. Goblins don't really work with Masuda and Che. Mm -hmm. With Kai, they can one-shot all day long most of uh, a Kai team. But how often do you get just a Kai and then a couple of uh, of um, of uh, slow characters or, or normal characters behind you? No, you normally get Kai, uh, Willow, or not Willow, but uh, Indigo, or Kai and Masuda, or Kai and Black Diamond, or... Sorry, there's my rant. But I've been thinking about it, and... Uh, and the green team needs a character that is a PvP changing character. Some people said it was the the lizards, um, but you got to keep them alive. You can't keep Viperia alive long enough to, to have her do her AOE damage. Anyway, there you have it. There's my there's my green rant. I'll rant every day about that. Drives me nuts. You feel better? Yeah. No, not really. <laughs> I spent over five million one day from refreshes. <laughs> I mean, that's what. What were you doing the other day? Like, depending on what it is, red and green can just be miserable. Red's not quite as bad as green by any means, but right. just the the green machine. That's what. Like, I don't see Jacob angry like ever, except when he has green machine, and then he's angry. <laughs> Well, it's funny, I, in, in the guild, some of the top players in this game that are in our guild, uh, some of the top ranked players uh, from a, a hero power, from a roster power perspective, they even complain about Green Machine and Green Machine. Green machine. Uh, it's rough. That tells you something when one of the top ten players is going, Green Machine sucks, it's awful, I hate getting it, um, when a top ten player says that. So, I, I don't know. That's where I'm at with that. Subject. Yes, yeah. but was, when they when they threw out his his epic, everybody thought, yeah, he's going to be the game changer. But he's, he was a game changer at a lower level. And yeah. If you're at level, I don't know, a 30, a 35, 40, he is a game changer in PvP. When you're at level 70, when you have Arya and you have Shade and you have some other folks, Masuda, who are all fully ascended and rune to the freaking hilt. No, it's just. I like him for beast wars. Yes. Because they just, I do yellow team, and then instead of Leo, I use Bovis, and that. But I mean, other than that, I don't really use Bovis. Anyway, I'm gonna go look into the food situation because we're gonna be eating at nine o'clock, and then that would be stupid. But I love you guys. I'm gonna peace out. Thank you for hanging out. Okay, bye. No, thank you for hanging out. You are awesome. Bye. Guys, you're going to have to deal with me again. Just plain old me. I'm not nearly as pretty, I don't sound as nice, and I'm not nearly as much fun. <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to play for very much longer. I'm probably just going to finish up these last few, uh, try to run this maybe one or two more times, uh, and then bolt out. But I at least wanted to leave you guys with a few things. Um, number one, what kind of two dorks is doing this year. Um, we've got our Monday night team stream, so try to check us out around 8, 30, 9 o'clock on Monday nights. We do our team streams. That's usually WoW, so subject, I will definitely be the one doing this. I will leave but cinders. I'll be the one leaving but cinders Monday night. Um, not really one at running a warlock. <laughs> I'm running a, a shaman for that team. But no, we have a good time. Sometimes we play Diablo because it is the 20th anniversary right now. So we're uh, we're having some fun running those uh, throwback uh, dungeons. So doing that a lot on Monday nights. Tuesday night is the Adventures of Steven or the Steven Show. Um, he's running the Adventures of Monkey Island right now. And by the way, I got Goldilocks. Oh, bam! Got three out of five. Um, so uh, Tuesday night, Steven Show, uh, Monkey Island. Speaking of which, Dressed, um, who's not in the chat today, and the reason why he's not in the chat is because he's actually visiting Peru this week. Uh, I think his sister is, is down there. So um, he's going down there, and he's actually going to visit Monkey Island, which is kind of fun. Um, 
I'd, I'd love to go to the right now. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, Wednesday nights, uh, I usually play Dungeon Boss for an hour or so. Um, talk about some of the, the stuff that's happening. Um, Thursday night, of course, is H&H. &H. You guys all tuned in last night. Saw Coleman Ranan and um, in his movie. They, they were interviewing him last night, so that was awesome. Next week, they're interviewing Askren, so everybody who is listening, go check out H&H &H Thursday night at 8.30. They're going to be interviewing Askren from Exploding Dice, which is always awesome because he hosts Dungeon Ball, uh, excuse me, the D&D stream on Wednesday nights, or uh, Sunday night, excuse me. Friday's tonight. Try to play some Dungeon Boss. We talk about the quests that are coming up for the week. Um, this weekend, we talk about uh, we talked a little bit about the fire quests that are happening. Uh, a whole bunch about Goldilocks and the very hard dungeons. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what we do. We try to take Saturdays off, and then Sundays Ashley comes back and streams D and D with Askren and Exploding Dice. And I drink. I drink scotch heavily on Sunday nights. So Sunday nights is my scotch night. Enjoy a scotch, a cigar, and some wow, and listen to them play D&D. Uh, um, &D. So uh, anybody that wants to uh, to hang out with me and wow, feel free to jump on wow on Sunday nights while you're listening to, to them playing D&D. Uh, um, &D. So that's what Two Dorks is up to. Uh, we got a lot of fun things that we've got planned for this year. Uh, we've had a couple of, uh, of um, discussions around some really fun kind of projects that we're trying to plan so that's going to be nice we're going to start doing some more uh, charity streaming so that's going to be fun and nice hopefully we can still continue to partner with dungeon boss and do some giveaways for them whenever they have some really cool stuff coming out um so yeah that's pretty much what we're doing so uh friday the 13th tonight i need to figure out what movie we're going to watch i'm assuming it's going to be friday the 13th maybe or cabin in the woods or some scary ass movie that uh don't really like because I'm not a big scary movie fan. Um, and then, of course, we need to eat some Mexican food or some from Auntie Brothers or something from Pittsburgh, right? Uh, they put french fries on every day. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we've got going on. So, uh, I hope you guys can continue to join us. Um, I do appreciate you guys joining us for this. Um, join our Discord. Um, I'll have to put the link up and. Uh, on, on chat so you can actually get uh, get notified when uh, actually it's exclamation point bang discord yeah that, that took it off alright guys just finished this last dungeon um, still don't have Goldilocks uh, five times but had some fun tonight thank you guys for suggesting some teams for me to run um, through that very hard dungeon. That was a lot of fun. Turns out the goblins were a hell of a lot better than I thought they were going to be. Uh, anyway, guys, have a great night. We'll catch up with you later. Have a, have a good Friday the 13th. Stay safe, and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Later.